So I'll be showing you how I brought this Warhammer Uruk War Channer into 40k. Starting off with the Kit Bash, easily enough just add some ammo to him. I kept him barefoot because why not? I didn't attach any of the bones you're supposed to attach to his back. Instead of using these little bone things, I replaced them with a new part. After clipping off his hands, I got some spare parts from Proxy War. So now he looks like he's ripping in half a Tau. And just like every conversion you see with this figure, I chose to have him bare chested, which they sculpted his entire chest except for like two little spots where the armor clips in. So why not use it? And then just use some milli put to give him some straps so it looks like his armor attaches. And because why not, I also decided to chop off his arm armor and just make some new ones from random parts of his other armor. Fill in gaps with Milliput to his base. And after I was happy with how it came out, I primed it with gray, normal orc skin tone with sick green by Vallejo. Paint some silver areas with plate mail silver by Army Painter. Paint black areas with whatever black you have. Base coat a couple areas with pale sand. Some random bits with Hammer Copper by Vallejo. Paint some random areas Demonic Yellow by Army Painter. Then I use Lava Orange by Army Painter to fill in this little symbol on his shoulder pad and do some rust by fitting it down and going over to silver with it. Checkerboard with Spaceship Exterior and Black. Paint some red areas with Heavy Red by Vallejo. Tau Skin is blue, so paint it with Wolf Gray by Army Painter. Paint straps on the figure with Brown Sand by Vallejo. Highlight his skin with Moot Green by Citadel. I have a cool dropper bottle, which makes it so much better and easier to use. I paint his base with khaki. Paint his tongue with Pink Horror by Citadel. I don't have it in a dropper bottle yet. And I painted the Tau's blood with Lorthron Blue by Citadel. I don't have it in a dropper bottle yet, because Tau blood, much like horseshoe crabs, is electric blue. Do your appropriate shading of strong, seraphim sepia, blue tone, green tone, dark tone, whatever. I like the black with dark gray by Vallejo. After a matte varnish, here he is. You could have probably just left him as is and say he's a weird boy for your stink bite orcs, but whatever. What do you guys think? You think he turned out alright? You think I could have done something better or different? How would you do it? Let me know in the comments below.